Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC, and today we're going to be taking a look at how RAM affects the performance of your system. Does having more really have an effect on your system? And the answer is sort of. But before we dive into that, we're going to take a look at what we're working with here. What we have here is a very powerful machine. This machine has a monstrous RTX 2070 Super for a maximum ray tracing technology, paired with an Intel i9-9900K for maximum performance. Finally, we have 32 gigs of high-speed DDR4 RAM. Let's get into it. So the main thing we're gonna be doing here in this video is we're gonna be actually running some benchmarks on the system that we have, and we'll be taking out RAM as we go along. We'll start at 32 gigs, 16, eight, and four. So before we actually get into playing the games, uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the benchmarks we ran on these three games. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Shadow the Tomb Raider, and Far Cry 5. An observation you might make when you're taking a look at the charts is that we're playing games at max settings, and that's because we have an i9 9900K and our RTX 2070 Super, and that's a pretty powerful machine. So we're expecting that this rig can handle max performance. The monitor we are using is capped at 1920 by 1080 and 60 hertz, so we are playing all these games at 1080p. So as you guys can see here, we are in the game. Uh, let me show you the settings real quick. Um, and then you guys can also see the FPS counter in the bottom right and the top left. We have two different counters. One is through Ubisoft and the other one is through Nvidia. So we have everything on ultra high. Everything is on the highest possible settings that it can be. We're getting about 90 frames at max. Um, so a good test is always to look at the sky because the sky is typically static. Um, it's already pre-rendered. NVIDIA is saying 97 and Ubisoft is saying 96. So we'll just say 96. Um, but then once we look down and we start looking at all the foliage, the grass, the trees, we get around 70, 69. It fluctuates as I run around. If only Athena could breathe life into them. Don't worry. Oh, and I'm getting destroyed at the moment. I don't remember how to use my abilities. How do I use my abilities again? Is it one, two, three? Oh, I got flaming swords now. I'm gonna die, and I died. Desynchronized. I'm getting destroyed. I died. But anyways, during that fight, you know, we're getting anywhere from like 60 frames to all the way up to like 75 frames, and that's with 32 gigs. But yeah, don't judge my gameplay, okay? This is for uh, technical purposes. If you guys wanna watch the best gameplay, obviously head over to my stream, twitch.tv forward slash cyberpowergaming. All right, so make sure you guys take the necessary precautions if you guys are going to be doing this, testing it for yourself. Make sure you guys uh, turn off your system, right? Number one thing, save all your files, whatever you're working on, that's the first thing. Next thing is you wanna make sure that you click the power button on the power supply to turn it off. Make sure you remove the power supply cable. Take it off, I'm gonna set it on the floor. I like to hit the power button a couple of times to discharge any electricity. Um, and then now we're gonna take out the RAM. So, uh, so we're gonna take out A1 and B1 RAM sticks. So this is actually really tall. I am a short person, don't judge me. So we're gonna take out the RAM here. It's one stick down and two stick down. Uh, uh, ah, there we go. So we got those out. So now we only have 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's an A2 and B2. So now we're gonna go ahead and restart the process of plugging in your system. All right, so now we're back. We're getting the same performance with 16 gigs. As you guys saw, we did take out some RAM, um, but we're actually getting higher FPS performance. Actually, when you look up at the sky, originally we were only getting around 90. Now we're getting actually 112. That's kind of odd, but okay, I'll roll with it. There's been no changes or variation in, aside from the fact that we took out RAM, um, but, if we look up at the sky, 
we are getting way more performance. It could be that I'm not standing in the exact same spot as before, uh, but anyways, but when we look down to the ground, we're getting similar performance. Uh, we're getting around 65 frames going all the way up to 80. So let's go ahead and take this guy on. So we're getting around 70 frames. I mean, it's the still, still the same smoothness. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. There's a parry. Gonna light my flame. Whoa, you got flame. Ooh, he's on fire. Um, you guys can see the performance. We were getting around the same. It was like when I was actually fighting and stuff like that, it was around 65 going up to like 75 yet again. And then when I was looking up at the sky, it was actually a little bit better performance with less RAM, 113 frames. So now we're back, back in the game. Uh, we've actually taken out three sticks now. Now we have a single stick of eight, and then we're actually gonna change to a different type of RAM, and we're gonna do two sticks of four, just to showcase um, a dual channel. Um, if we look up at the sky, let's look up. We are actually getting way, not way less, um, about 20 frames less. So right here, we're only getting about 84 to 67. It's actually raining in here too, so I'm not sure if that's gonna affect the performance. So this could be botched, honestly. And then let's look down here, just going a couple times. Getting around 57, 60. So again, we lost about 12 uh, frames. Let's go ahead and get into a fight again. Fight time, hopefully I'm able to Ooh, dude, I kicked him so far. So we're actually getting like super, way less frames. Uh, 40, 45, oh my God, he is destroying me. And he just totally destroyed me. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we're getting about 75 frames. Um, even in the load menu here, we're only getting about nix, nix, <laughs> 96 frames. 96 frames when we were originally getting around 110 frames. Yeah, so I mean, I think that pretty much concludes our eight stick. A uh, little demo here. We are losing a decent amount of frames, um, roughly around 10 to 15 frames when actually playing. And then if we look up at the sky, we lose around 20 frames. So a decent, a decent loss. So when we're actually talking about this, about how RAM affects FPS, it actually does. So going from eight to 16, but then as you saw from 16 to 32, it actually didn't have that much of a performance difference. But now let's try with two different sticks of RAM uh, in a dual channel format. So the reason why we wanna showcase using dual channel memory is because our motherboard actually supports up to four DIMM or has four DIMM slots on it. And what that means is where your RAM actually slots into your motherboard. Now, if you only have uh, two DIMM slots, then yes, having a single eight gig stick of memory is good. If it has up to four, then having two sticks in a dual channel format is better um, because it actually doubles the memory bandwidth by flowing information a little bit more efficiently between the two RAM sticks. So it essentially doubles your memory's bandwidth. So we're back in the game. Um, just from looking around, we're getting around 69 to a low of, oh, actually a high of 73 going down to 62. If we go look up to the sky, we're actually getting 98, 100 frames. So, so far dual channel is outperforming a single stick of memory. So like we were talking about a little bit earlier, the difference between single stick and uh, dual channel, the only downside of dual channel, especially if you're running at such uh, a low uh, size, like four gigs uh, on each stick and making a total of eight, is that it kind of reduces your upgrade ability on your system. So if you're planning on upgrading, I mean, as you can see, it's not that big of a difference. You don't lose as much frames or gain as many frames, but um, as you can see that if you want to upgrade your system and you know you're going to eventually upgrade your system, it might be better just to get a single stick, but just to showcase the difference in performance and how beneficial it is to actually utilize dual channel or quad channel, that's why we're doing this. It's not to like say, oh, you know, if you're buying a system, you should, you know, if you're only going to get eight gigs, you should split it up into four sticks. It's not that. It's just to showcase that dual channel is beneficial. So right now we're pulling about 80 frames actually. Oh, I'm actually killing people. This is very nice. Ooh, get kicked, son. Ooh, get deflected. Oof, 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 oof. Does dual channel make me play better? I think it does, actually. Boom, 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 boom! Look at that. Front kick. Oh, get out of my house. I am the best gamer known to man. Anyways, so as you guys can see, the difference in performance is pretty drastic from uh, 32 gigs and down to only eight gigs. Uh, but now we're actually gonna do four gigs only just to see 
the major difference between it all. Let's hope no one notices me here. Can we do our job, Joseph, please? Uh, looking down at the ground, we're getting around 81, 68, 62, 61. I mean, all in all, like in terms of performance, the memory hasn't really had that big of an effect. Obviously, jumping from four gigs going up to eight or even four gigs in dual channel. Yeah, the difference is more consistent in terms of you have better overall uh, FPS, but it's not that taxing. I mean, the game looks pretty fluid. As you guys can see that the FPS in terms of like our highs and our lows, um, obviously we've had pretty like low lows, pretty low lows uh, in terms of FPS. I mean, it dropped down to 35, but in terms of the highs, it's pretty consistent with what we already had with the eight gigs. Going from four to eight, it's not that big of a jump, but once you go from like say four to 16, I mean, it's a huge, like it's a really big difference you can see in terms of the numbers in FPS. So really at the end of the day, the amount of RAM you have in your system is pretty negligible. Depending of course, if you're going from four to 16, then obviously yes, that's a huge jump. But going from 16 to 32 or even eight to 16 in some instances, it's not that huge of a difference. Pretty much you wanna basically have a baseline of around eight gigs inside of your system. Now, of course we did show you dual channel, but here at CyberPower PC in our systems, we only have a standard of eight gigs. It will only come with one stick not in a dual channel format so if you are looking to do dual channel then it's best to upgrade to around 16 gigs where you pretty much get the best performance of course there are a lot of things to consider when purchasing your system especially when we're going to be talking about ram is if you're going to be using a lot of google tab chromes uh, obviously it is known that google chrome does eat up a lot of memory if you are going to be doing that then it's best to upgrade to around 16 gigs but if you're just gonna be strictly gaming, then eight gigs is a perfect area for you to be at. If you wanna customize your own computer and or buy a pre-built system, you can check us out at cyberpowerpc.com. This is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.